Good morning, STN. I'm Susana Hoyos. And I'm Pamela Cohn. We're here in the city of music and fame, Nashville, Tennessee. Where we have come to challenge our skills and put ourselves to the test in a not-so-familiar environment. But our main focus today is to tell the stories of those who have brought this town. Throughout the years, this growing city has seen many trends pass by. But one that has stuck around is its music. So coming up on Firebird TV. We're introduced to an aspiring rapper that adventures through the city of the country music. See how ready STN students are to rock this year's convention. And look a little deeper into Nashville's roots. Although Nashville is nicknamed the city of music, it's not limited to just country. Reporter Carolyn Arias found those who rock to a different beat while trying to break through into this industry. In the heart of Nashville, aspiring artists are rocking the town with their passion for country music, but that is with the exception of locals like Jeremy Glover that are bringing new sound to the music city. Raised in a music-oriented family, Jeremy has always been determined to create music. Whether it was singing in his church choir or learning how to play the drums with his brothers, Jeremy continues to pursue his dreams within the streets of Nashville. You know, uh, just simple. I had a laptop. I bought a little cheap mic from Radio Shack for $20 with the headphone connected on it. And I, uh, I downloaded the uh, free Fruity Loop app on my laptop and started to make beats. And we would play the drums and go to choir rehearsal and, you know, learn the songs. Just music, 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 music. According to the Chamber of Commerce, in 2016, the total revenue in the recording music industry amounted to a total of 16.1 billion U.S. dollars. This goes to show how musicians are starting to take matters into their own hands and painting their own picture. I'm actually inspired by music to keep doing music, but it doesn't matter to me where you go, you know. What you do, your work will speak for itself. If you're an artist, it doesn't matter where you go, you know. If you can paint a picture and sell it for $1,000, it doesn't matter if you're here in New York. Despite the hardships of the music industry, Jeremy continues to move those mountains out of his way. You can't allow the ground to change you. You have to change the ground. It only takes a single grain of sand to move the world. So guess what? If I'm going to be that single grain, I'm going to move the whole world. If I tell that mountain to go, it's going to go. So you got to believe in yourself and have a solid belief. Signing off from the Student Television Network for Firebird TV, I'm Carolyn Arias. When the STN convention comes to town, thousands of students come with it. And they're ready to not only participate, but take over. They've been preparing all year to come to a city they know little of, getting ready to dominate. Now here's reporter Amanda Ivarra with some students who are set to rock this convention. Good morning, STN. I'm Amanda Ibarra, and we're here in Nashville, Tennessee, also known as the City of Music, where many great artists started their passion. This year, our student filmmakers and journalists will pursue their own. Thousands of students have flown across the country to come here and rock out their passion all under one roof, here at the Student Television Network Convention. Um, I think it's interesting because, like I said, I started off as a student in STN. Um, and to see where this has come in the past, I guess, eight or nine years that I've been a part of the convention has been really cool. Um, to see how many students there are and, and just to see the convention grow every year is uh, really awesome. Expression is just a huge thing. I think that any chance anyone gets to express themselves is just really cool in any way they can, whether it's through painting, whether it's through film and journalism like we do here, whether it's just drawing or even singing, it's just really cool to be able to find those ways to express yourself. Really, really nice to see more than hundreds of schools coming together to do the same thing that I'm trying to do, to compete in the same competition. I've met a lot of people already. We bumped into them. They've asked me if you're doing this, if you're doing that. And seeing that they're trying to compete against me, super nice people here. It's just really nice to know that they're trying to get to what we're trying to get. Signing off for Fiber TV from the Student Television Network, I'm Amanda Ibarra, rocking out and doing what I love. The music industry isn't the only hot topic in town. Nashville's deep-rooted impact during the civil rights era once rocked this town to its core. Earlier this week, Mayor David Briley proposed to preserve an area of Greer Stadium Park to honor the slaves of the civil rights era. 
The site was slated for major redevelopment, but those plans were put to a halt after an archaeologist suggested there could be human remains of former slaves buried under there. There is no denying that Nashville's past has paved the way for Nashville's present. Now here's Alejandra Torres with how the music industry has played a significant role in that progression. The city of Nashville, Tennessee moves at a quick rhythm, seemingly to the beat of the music. But alongside the music comes a long history of movements that weren't so rhythmic, but still managed to rock this town. After the Civil War, African Americans began to feel a true sense of Americanism. This made some people angry. Whites fought violently and corruptly to regain power in all aspects of the legislature. They were successful. Nearly a century after the Civil War, the black population of Tennessee was still fighting for equality. In time, Nashville became the first major city in the South to begin desegregating public facilities. Talk about an uprising. But in case you'd forgotten, Martin Luther King was assassinated shortly after this, right here in the state of Tennessee. This historic event was perceived as a symbol of hatred in the state. In the nature of Nashville, rock and roll took over the 40s and 50s, greatly impacting integration in a moment where the attention on the battle of the races was extremely high. This genre became a safe haven where, no matter their race or their financial state, anybody and everybody could take refuge in the beat. So we know that Nashville has carried on its traditions in music and its ability to ease tension. But the racial tension that once rocked this town, state, and country was metaphorically placed in a box, tied with a bow, and pushed to the side. Largely in part to music, of course. For Fiber TV at Student Television Network, I'm Alejandra Torres reporting. Nashville is full of rich history that has shaped it throughout the years to be what it is today. As student journalists, it's the stories we tell that rock this town. Signing off for Fiber TV for the Student Television Network, I'm Pamela Cohn. And I'm Susana Ojos. Enjoy the rest of your convention.